Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Battlefield 3 close quarters gameplay video on Operation 925. Doing Gunmaster again on this map since I seem to get ultra lucky as I'm usually near the top of the leaderboard on this map. I really like it as well for Gunmaster, it's uh, quite a nice map I think for this gameplay. Game mode, sorry. But instead of talking about the gameplay as I usually do, um, this but obviously you can see it. So I, I decided to sum up a couple of options as to what I should talk about. And, obviously, with everything you have, you can't love everything, right? You've got to have them things that you dislike. I mean, Battlefield 3 is easily one of my favourite games. But obviously, along the lines of that, you've got to have something you dislike. You know, you can't love everything about something. So, I hope you don't go ahead and dislike this video just because I'm stating some opinions of what I dislike. Because, obviously, I have my own opinions as to what... As I'm saying, as I dislike. <laughs> I've actually made a, a little bit of a list as to what I like. I, I think the fair points, actually. It's nothing against the game. Uh, it's just certain aspects inside the game as to how people... Usually how people actually play this. And I thought I'd start it off with uh, using the scenery. In some, some levels, you have scenery that's been put there. And you can actually get up there. Like, look at this guy messing me about as well. <laughs> You can actually get up there with some way or the other. For example, on the Nosha Canals, you can actually get up on the crane, which I think it was originally put there for scenery. And snipers usually go up there, and it gets a little bit frustrating because you are trying to focus on getting some kills and on the ground, and then you get sniped by someone on the crane. So it sort of averts your what you are focusing on, and you try and get a kill from the people on the crane, and then you get butt raped by someone on the ground, and you're just like, ah, this is so frustrating. So what I usually do is para up there myself, uh, get a couple of knife kills, and laugh at pe them on the chat. And they usually get frustrated themselves. But yeah, the people you do it on Karg Island as well by going up on the roof. It gets a little frustrating. As, like I said, you are focusing on the ground, you get snapped by them. It's really, really irritating, you know, uh, people using that sort of stuff to their advantage because you can, they can see along all the map. It, I think it's a sort of noobish move. I mean, if you do it yourself, then it, please stop. <laughs> it's so frustrating. I mean, if it's there for it to be used, which I don't think it is. I, I don't think the roof is there to be fucking parachuted on top of. Uh, it's part, it's a building, you know, it's got to have a roof. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's I think it's really frustrating. It's one of them things that bugs me. Most of the games that I join, usually people on the crane or on, on the roof. But it would be nice just to focus on one thing, people on the ground, instead of, look at that, Kill Assist 100. Are you trying to piss me off? <laughs> um, but yes, that's the first thing that really irritates me. Um, yeah, t Tell me if on my opinions, tell me what you think about them as well, you know, if you disagree with me or agree with me. Uh, I mean, feel free to dislike my video, but I'm just stating my opinions and whatnot. And, yeah, the second thing I dislike is a thing I have done in the past, and a lot of people probably have as well, but, uh, chat box when people cry about every kill, they, uh, every death they get, sorry. I mean, I haven't cried about every death I've got. I mean, I've just complained a couple of times, like, uh, I don't know, getting killed by a certain gun, like, oh my fucking god, that is such a newbie gun. You have to put no effort into it whatsoever. I've simmered down a little bit on that sort of thing, though, because I, I do find it frustrating when people do it, so I've simmered down, like, stopping doing it, because, you know, it's something that frustrates me, so why do it myself? But basically, people complaining about every death they get, it's like, Oh my god, I can't, how did you do that? What the fuck? Are you lagging? Are you fucking hacking? Are you doing this and that and, and what not? I think it's a little bit frustrating that you should complain about every death you get. I mean, if you're dying, then calm the hell down. You've been either too aggressive, or you're camping, or, or something or the other, so people know where you are. You're making it a bit too obvious. You know, improve your, your, your game style, basically. But there's no need to complain about every death you get, you know. Uh, but yes, uh, another thing being, it's not a sort of game thing, it's actually people comparing this to Call of Duty. It's nothing to do with the, the you know, the me getting frustrated with the game itself, but 
it's people comparing to Call of Duty, and I see this with every single game nowadays, and it is really frustrating, you know? It's They do it with every game. Like, for example, I was watching a Ghost Recon Future Soldier video, and that game looks really good. Uh, it looks arcadey a little bit, but it looks good. I wouldn't mind trying it out in the future for myself. But the fact is, I saw a comment, com someone comparing it to Call of Duty. I mean, I mean, what the hell? It's a third-person game. It's nothing like Call of Duty. And, and it's like this. As soon as Close Quarters was released, people were straight away, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, stop copying Call of Duty. I mean, it's appealing to different types of people. People get frustrated with the huge maps and having to run about for so long to get a couple of kills and sometimes dying from it. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's a bit stupid just comparing to Call of Duty all the time. And that's one thing that frustrates me. I mean, fair enough, it, I think everyone does it in every sort of aspect. Uh, like on YouTube, people compare you to different users and actually give you crap for uh, copying them, it, you know, doing a finger movement there. LOL! Rubbish. Sarcasm. Uh, but, you know, it's... It's... I, I don't know, uh, as you see me... I, <laughs> hypocrite! But yes, I was complaining about the MK3A1 because I dislike this gun. I hate it! I hate it so much! This is one thing I hate about this game. They are forcing you to use a horrible gun and you tend to hit a massive brick wall and stay on it for so long. And... You usually do a lot more damage to yourself with this gun. It's just a big piece of shit, basically. I, uh, that's my opinion. I hate this gun. Uh, it's. I think the fact that they put frag rounds on it just makes it even worse. Like I said, it does more damage to you. <laughs> it really sucks. And, yeah, the next thing is teamwork. The teamwork aspect. This game, it has four different classes. It has the assault, the recon, the support and the engineer class. Every sort of class has some way or other to help your teammates. For example, the recon being the less obvious, it's, you know, you use the tug, or I think it's called the tug, to reveal where your enemies are. That helps a hell of a lot. It, it's nice knowing where your enemies are and, and all that sort of stuff. But the most obvious being the assault class and the support class, where you can give your teammates medipacks and revive them and actually give them some ammo as well but it's got to the point sometimes where people have not done teamwork at all you you are running around spamming the Q button and they are not giving you any medipacks or any any freaking uh, any ammunition and it sucks you know it, it's really freaking frustrating it's like come on dude I'm shouting for your help it's easy to know when someone is you look on your minimap and it shows that someone is crying for your help. It's really frustrating because you can sometimes run around with like zero ammunition and you have to actually swap class, as in you have to look for a support class and swap out, throw down a ammunition box yourself and then swap back for you to actually get am ammunition. It has happened a lot of times to me. So I, I think it's just a lot of people who've come from other games and not actually experienced this teamwork which I am talking about. I think they've just come straight from a game where you run and gun and don't give a fuck about other people, apart from yourself. And um, that sucks, you know. It's it's nice to have someone who supports you, revives you in not stupid places, feeds you ammunition when you uh, cry for it, uh, and and whatnot. You know, it's always nice to have teamwork. And you do get points for it, guys. You get a good amount of points. <laughs> it's nice to help out your team. Uh, once you do have a good uh, team, good squad on the go, you do tend to have a better round. You you have a better chance of pushing up since you get a lot of heals and, and all that stuff, you know. Because you always have someone by your side and all that stuff, you know. But that's just that's just my opinion on it. Uh, oh, God, look at that shit. I think I just got Calisys of 100 again. Uh, um, one small thing that frustrates me is... Uh, the the squad specifications, uh, it's like squad sprint, squad ammunition, squad frag. And it's when people use the same one, and it, it is a small thing, but it it makes a big difference to the game. You know, if someone's using uh, if two people have squad sprint, it, it sort of sucks because then people can use a different one that can af 
affect your gameplay massively. For example, if two people have squad sprint and no one has squad ammo, you could have more ammunition. You know, it's an easy thing to swap over. And yesterday I was telling people, come on, swap, change your thing up. You you have the same squad spec. And uh, one person actually listened to me. The other, because three people had the same squad spec, and I was like, come on, you know, you can change it. Will it will have an advantage due to if you actually change it. And only one of them listened to me, so we still had two people with the same spec, and it's a little bit frustrating that, you know, you can have a, a better advantage if people use different specifications, uh, and you know what, that, that, that's, that's it, you know, it's, all these things, you'll have an advantage if you follow. Um, another thing is, uh, if you use a certain weapon, for example, I was using... The Spaz Shotgun, which is one of my favourite weapons at the moment. I'm trying to get a video for it, but it always seems to fail, like, actually trying to get a video for it. And it's just bumping up my kills. It's my top used weapon at the moment, with 1,200 kills, which is a hell of a lot of kills. And, but yeah, um, a couple of times people pop up on the chat like, you know, you, no noob skill, and it's like, dude, I have skill. I, <laughs> I'm just using a gun that I like. You know, it's... It sort of sucks that you're calling me a noob. Have you checked my st uh, statistics, my all-around statistics? They're probably better than yours. And there was one dude who called me a, a noob, and I was at the top of the leaderboard currently with like 28 kills to, I think it was, 8 deaths or something? And he had 10 kills compared to 13 deaths, and I was like, dude, have you seen your kill to deaths? And he was like, yeah, but I'm a better level than you. And I was like, what? Being a better level than you doesn't make you better than that person. It's it's the stats that count, really. Because anyone can get to level 100. Look at that spawn, that was so bad. Anyone can get to level 100 by being a noob, you know? You just be a... You just do whatever, and you, you get killed in the process a lot, and, you know, <laughs> anyone can get a high level. But, yeah, it's... Uh, some weapons... It makes sense to call people in here. I, I, I still think the USAS is USAS, however you pronounce it, is a gun which you don't need a lot of skill to use because you're just hip firing around and. I mean, it is a, you can use it, obviously. It's a gun that they have provided for you to use. Fair enough. But I think I still think it's uh, a, like a little no skilled gun, if you get what I mean. But that's just me being a little bit of a hypocrite there, but you know what I mean. I mean, Spaz, it was provided for a close quarters game, so I, I've been using it in close quarters combat, uh, aka on small maps, on the new ones, and it works very effectively, which is nice, which is what you want. And, yeah, moving on, so the game doesn't freaking end, <laughs> uh, it's campers. Uh, what they've done in Battlefield 3 is simmer down on the destruction, compared to Bad Company 2, and... It sort of takes away being able to destroy campers, uh, which sort of sucks, as I, I suck here <laughs> with the sniper. But yeah, it, when people are like glitched into the map in a corner where you can only see half the body, it's like, come on dude, it's not Call of Duty, why are you just camping there? Kill this 99, thanks for that, kill steal. <laughs> but it sort of sucks, sucks when people are just camping in the corner getting kills. I mean, fair enough if you have stopped to give yourself some uh, some health as you're a medic and you're throwing down a med pack but if you're camping there just chilling in the corner for ages doing nothing not helping out your team it sort of sucks and on to my last thing is the random spawns which don't turn out to your favor sometimes on team deathmatch or on this game mode as well on gunmaster as you saw before I spawned and I decided oh I'll go this way it turns out there was someone right behind me. I, I mean, imagine if I went there that way, he could have knifed me just after spawning. It really does suck. And I mean, by choosing a random spawn point, not by spawning on your teammates. I mean, that's your choice if you die and whatnot. But it does suck if you spawn on a, ran on a random spawn point and it puts you directly where other team members are. It really does suck. Uh, but yeah, that rounds up my thing. What I dislike about Battlefield 3. Obviously, with everything, there must be some downsides. You know, you can't not love everything about a game or even about a YouTube commentator, <laughs> aka me. But look at this. Mm, yes, give it to me, baby. Woohoo. He's a winner. He's a winner again. 
but yeah, I hope you don't hate on me for doing this because, like I said, Battlefield 3 is one of my favourite games. I love Battlefield 3, but like I said, gotta dislike some things. And that basically rounds up my thing. Tell me what, what you dislike and what you disagree and agree with me on, maybe. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this commentary, guys. And I thank you very much for watching. Uh, peace out.